hey guys welcome back to wp event manager and in this video we're gonna talk about uh web application firewall so in short WAF. WAF is kind of important when it comes to total security on wordpress websites so previously i talked about the uh security plugins for wordpress websites and this is an addiction to that video so there's like two level of uh web application firewall you can apply to your website so let's say i'm gonna go ahead and explain the things for you not really demonstrate because i don't have ability to do that at this moment but in future we will try to bring you the video about a live demonstration so the first way to use WordPress, uh, like any website web application firewall is DNS level website firewall. I hope you guys already know about Cloudflare. So Cloudflare filters like only genuine traffic into your website. So let's say there's a least chance of getting uh, your website a DDoS attack from like botnet or uh, let's say a brute force attack on your website. So what Cloudflare will do, they will filter out only the genuine networks or the connections towards your website and drop all the bad connections. So that's very simple DNS level uh, website firewall and Cloudflare has like an amazing guide how to set Cloudflare up and all and your website's most likely to have a Cloudflare integration as well. So in a upcoming video, we might show how to do Cloudflare integration with a website. It requires a bit of like technical knowledge. So I'm not gonna put that into this video. It's gonna get very long and very confusing. Then we have application level firewall. Previously, we talked about WordPress security plugins. Application level firewall is a uh, a thing that's built into the WordPress security plugins we talked about. Let's say uh, security or WordFence, they both have uh, application level firewall and they can be integrated into your website just by one click. You can install WordFence or security, whatever uh, like you like the most. And they will filter out bad networks, let's say hackers, uh, spams, SQL injections, DDoS attacks and bad bots. So they can filter out those details and let the genuine traffic into your website. So application level firewalls are like much secure than the DNS level firewall. So the DNS level firewall will only filter out the bad networks and let genuine networks into a website while application level firewalls will help you uh, to like differentiate and allows only genuine users and drop not only bad networks or bad connections it will also block like ddos brute force uh, like attacks even bad bots not like good bots like google uses bot uh, facebook uses bot for cloning your website content not those only the bad bots and like let's say hackers even like sql injection attacks as well so Security plugins, they help you to like monitor your site health, uh, like moni mon let you help to identify malicious code changes on your website uh, files, core files, theme files, plugin files, all of them, and even help you to use an application level firewall on your website. So feel free to use uh, like any of the solutions over here, but in my suggestion, use Cloudflare's uh, DNS level firewall and in back use application level firewall so you got double protection so two is better than one and three is better than two so in that principle use dns level firewall at the top and then use the application level firewall at the bottom so in that way you get maximum efficiency and if you configure your plugins or like security rules correctly there is like a good amount of chance that you are uh like really secure and there will be a very hard time for hackers to like crack down or break down your websites so I hope this video gave you a little bit of idea about web application firewalls. Uh, let it be WordPress, let it be for any website. So in that note, I would like to end this video. If you fail to understand anything and would like to know more about, let us know in the comment. We will try to explain each details to you in the comment section as well. Drop video ideas if you want to see that in this channel. We will make that happen. Until next time, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.